Mike Pompeo, former U.S. Secretary of State under the Trump administration, has been summoned by a Spanish court to testify on the plot to kidnap WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. The summons was issued on June 3rd by Judge Santiago Pedras of the Audiencia Nacional, a national court of Spain. The summons is part of the ongoing case against security firm UC Global for illegally spying on Assange allegedly at the behest of the U.S., while he was seeking asylum in the Ecuadorian embassy in London. The surveillance operation on Assange was undertaken since at least mid-2017, according to testimonies from UC Global whistleblowers and its director David Morales. Discussions were allegedly held at the highest levels of the US government to rendition and assassinate Assange as well. The illegal spying on Assange was first reported by WikiLeaks in April 2019. This was later confirmed when the Audiencia Nacional carried out a secret investigation prompted by a complaint by Assange himself. Former U.S. counterintelligence official William Ivanina has also been served a summons. He had previously confessed to having accessed video footage and audio recording of Assange from inside the embassy. Pompeo has been called to testify on the claims that the U.S. intelligence discussed rendition and assassination of Assange as revealed in a report published by Yahoo News in 2021. The report showed that the Central Intelligence Agency had discussed plans to silence Assange. The assassination plot was in retaliation to the publication of the Vault 7 files by WikiLeaks in March 2017. The release of the files exposed dozens of CIA's sophisticated hacking tools and malwares that could compromise or hack into a wide range of operating systems. What does Spain have to do with Mike Pompeo and Julian Assange? The judge, Santiago Pedraz, is investigating the allegation that UC Global, a commercial company directed by the Spanish David Morales and based in Spain, so Spain has jurisdiction, this company supposedly facilitated espionage against Assange as the company was in charge of the security of the Ecuadorian embassy in London, where Assange was in exile for over seven years. The Spanish judge of the National High Court, by asking the U.S. authorities to interrogate Pompeo and Evanina, has agreed to the request made by Assange lawyers in Spain, where they propose to take their statements after Evanina confessed that the U.S. intelligence had access to the cameras of the Ecuadorian embassy in London, to recordings of conversations, to the visitors' devices and travel documents, having even planned the assassination or kidnapping of Assange. They claimed that their testimony is necessary for the investigation of this case, and all this because it has been accredited that they had that direct knowledge and they had publicly confessed it. Both Morales, who is in probation with precautionary measures, and UC Globo are being investigated for crimes against privacy and the secrecy of lawyer-client communications, corruption, and money laundering. So what is going to happen now? This process is causing a lot of noise. Many activists and journalists have their focus on Spain because of the importance of Assange's case for press freedom, as well as sending a message to the untouchable United States. But let's remember, Spain is a country where anything can happen. We still have medieval crimes such as insulting the crown, and we have to look to other countries to seek justice here, like the case of the former king's corruption or Franco's regime crimes. Also, Spain has made very controversial sentences, like the ones of the rapper Pablo Hassel in prison for more than one year now for writing songs, or where Judge Baltasar Garzón was disqualified under false accusations during his investigations into political corruption. We hope that in this case, Spain, Spain will find justice for Assange and be an example against the imperialist impunity of the USA. Pompeo served as the CIA's director during the time before he was appointed as the Secretary of State in the Trump presidency. Pompeo allegedly pitched plans for a rendition in the UK while the president's office at the time asked for options and sketches to assassinate Assange. Responding to the claims made in the report, both Trump and Pompeo denied the allegations raised. However, Pompeo did admit on record that pieces of it are true without clarifying which parts precisely. Assange's supporters and his family after the publication of the news report have raised grave concerns over the looming extradition. His wife Stella Assange repeatedly pointed out that the UK would be handing Assange over to the same establishment that plotted to assassinate him. 
Assange is currently being held at the high security Belmarsh prison and is fighting a judicial battle against his extradition to the US in the UK. Despite these concerns, the UK High Court in London overturned a lower court ruling against the US extradition request in December 2021. The Supreme Court has also denied Assange's appeal, effectively paving the way for his extradition. Currently, Assange is awaiting a final decision on his extradition from the UK Home Office. Home Secretary Preeti Patel of the Conservative Party government, led by Boris Johnson, has to make the decision over the extradition order issued by the courts.